All right, everybody, this is our last little mini lecture video for this second module, the skinia, schizophrenia spectrum and other psychotic disorder section. And like I said, early, early on in this module, there really are a number of different mental health conditions that belong to this family, but we're just covering two. Because again, these are the two most commonly diagnosed out of this family, if I can just use that language. Schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorder. We've just talked about schizophrenia and the five core symptoms. Again, I wanna encourage you to go back and look at your lecture notes, look at the PowerPoint presentation, look at the DSM. The DSM especially gives you a lot more information about schizophrenia. I'm just kind of hitting the high points and I'm gonna do that as well for this second disorder or diagnosis that we're gonna talk about this semester, schizoaffective disorder. As I said in a previous video, when I first got into this field, I don't know if I had ever heard of schizoaffective disorder. And I remember again, doing a clinical internship in a, in a, in a, in a, um, a psychiatric facility and I remember being introduced to this term for the first time. I did not know what it was. And, but I quickly realized that uh, it was a schizophrenia related disorder. It is not schizophrenia. It's actually schizophrenia plus something else. So schizoaffective disorder, again, a commonly diagnosed mental health condition that I want you to be familiar with. Schizoaffective disorder, the, the easiest way to understand schizoaffective disorder, and really a lot of the different disorders that we cover in this class, is just to look at the name. So for example, we'll talk next module about the term bipolar disorder. The term bipolar tells us a lot about what the disorder is. We're gonna study here in a few weeks, obsessive compulsive disorder. Well, the term obsessive and compulsive tells us a lot about what the disorder is. We're gonna talk right after that about post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. I'm gonna highlight again how that disorder is what it says it is, post-traumatic stress disorder. So a lot of these mental health conditions we're talking about in this class, the names of them tell us a lot about what they are. That's how I remembered and learned about schizoaffective disorder was I just looked at the name, schizoaffective. The term schizoaffective means this. It, the, term, the, 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 the word schizoaffective has that S-C-H-I-Z-O prefix, schizoaffective. Well, the word schizo means schizophrenia. Schizo in this context means schizophrenia. So a person with schizoaffective disorder has consistently those five symptoms or most of those five symptoms of schizophrenia. So a person with schizoaffective disorder has the symptoms of schizophrenia, but they also have something else they struggle with. That is the affective, schizoaffective. Well, what does affective mean? Well, the word affect means mood or feeling. So the word affective just means mood or emotions or feeling. So schizoaffective means schizophrenia and mood. Now, we're going to talk more in the next module about mood disorders, but schizoaffective disorder is really what I call a hybrid diagnosis, and here's what it is. A person has the symptoms of schizophrenia. They have patterns of disorganized speech, maybe times of disorganized behavior. They have periods of delusional thinking and hallucinations. They may have some negative symptoms. They have at some level, a history of schizophrenia. They have a pattern of, of, of this, uh, they have a pattern of schizophrenia and, and the symptoms of schizophrenia. But along the way, they have depression and or bipolar disorder. So we haven't talked yet about depression and bipolar disorder. I'm gonna give you a little preview here in just a second. We're gonna do that in our next module, module three. But schizoaffective disorder is a hybrid diagnosis that we use when we do an evaluation of a client and we realize they have schizophrenia, but they're also consistently and persistently depressed. Or they have schizophrenia, and yet they also too consistently and persistently have these wild kind of mood swings from high and euphoric and agitated and hyper down to depressed and slow and lethargic and depressed, like bipolar disorder. So Schizophrenia, schizoaffective disorder is kind of a hybrid diagnosis. Most people with schizophrenia, let's go back to schizophrenia for a second. Most people with schizophrenia, their mood is fairly stable. The, 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 the typical average person with schizophrenia does not have these wild, wide mood swings from high to low 
or they don't have real severe depression usually, but sometimes they do. And I've had clients before. I, had, I actually had a former student of ours who graduated from our program just a few years ago, and he shared with me in private that he had been treated and was being treated for schizoaffective disorder. And I didn't get into all the details with him, but I, if, if he's accurately diagnosed, what that means is that he has previously had schizophrenia and he, or he has maybe even today some consistent, some somewhat consistent symptoms of schizophrenia, but then along the way he battles depression or along the way he also battles bipolar disorder. Schizophrenia and bipolar disorder, schizophrenia and depression, major depressive disorder, which we'll talk about in our next module, are th those are separate struggles. Th those do not necessarily go together all the time. But when they do go together, we oftentimes diagnose those situations as a person having schizoaffective disorder. So really schizoaffective disorder is complicated. It's even more complicated than schizophrenia because schizophrenia is complicated enough, right? I mean, in a bad way, just schizophrenia is a multi-layered complex mental health condition. Well, imagine having that condition and then kind of a like along the way you battle, have periods, the, the person that you're working with, or maybe you, if you're the person, you have these periods of severe depression where you're down and you're blue and you're sad, maybe you're suicidal, you're hopeless, you're helpless, you're guilt-ridden, no energy, you know, unusual beliefs about the world. People are trying, people, no one loves you, and those kind, you know, more depressed. I mean, I mean, depression is bad enough. It, it's, 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 sort of a, it's sort of a strong struggle as it is. But imagine having schizophrenia and then and then kind of like in the middle. Of, so imagine this is schizophrenia. Imagine in the middle of schizophrenia, you have depression. That's called schizoaffective disorder. Imagine you have the five symptoms of schizophrenia. And then along the way, occasionally you have some of the symptoms of bipolar disorder in the middle of it. So that's schizoaffective disorder. OK, so what you see through the DSM-5 oftentimes is you see, will see sometimes disorders and diagnoses like this one what we call a hybrid diagnosis, where things kind of are put together, right? And so occasionally we see that. So that's kind of what schizoaffective disorder, that's what schizoaffective disorder is. Now here's the tricky thing. Again, um, it, it's tricky, but just kind of walk you through this, then we'll be done. Bottom line is this, usually with schizoaffective disorder, usually um, the schizophrenia symptoms are more persistent and the mood symptoms are kind of come and go, usually, not always, but usually. So usually when someone is diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder, the schizophren their schizophrenia symptoms are more like the foundation. And then the mood problems, the highs and lows of, of bipolar disorder or the, the lows of depression are more kind of come and go, kind of occasional, but they're persistent enough and they're disruptive enough that we may diagnose it as schizoaffective disorder. That is the typical presentation. Now, occasionally it's the other way around. Occasionally, people with schizoaffective disorder, their bipolar disorder symptoms or their depressive symptoms are more predominant and their schizophrenia symptoms are more kind of come and go. We also see that as well, but that's not quite as common. So again, to understand schizoaffective disorder, you got to understand schizophrenia because schizoaffective disorder has the word schizo in it, right? And that's, that's what that's what that's what in this context, that's what the term schizo means. It means schizophrenia plus affective schizophrenia plus a mood disorder. And we're going to talk a lot more about the mood disorders, which are very common. Mood disorders are much more common and much more commonly diagnosed and experienced than uh, schizophrenia. But sometimes we see them go together. And that's what this is. And we'll talk more about uh, the mood disorders in module number three. So. So far in our class, here's what we've done. We've done a little introduction last week. We talked, we talked about the DSM-5 and the three Ds of a disorder and the pros and cons of the medical model, of three parts of the medical model. We talked about all that last week. And so far in this section, we've talked about two different commonly diagnosed mental health conditions, schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorder. So come back, watch these videos as many times as you need to, look at the lecture notes, Go in the DSM-5 and read about schizoaffective disorder and schizophrenia. There's a bunch of more information in, in the DSM that I'm even providing. Go through, look at the handouts, do your homework assignment, get ready for module two quiz, which will be open for you here in a few days. And we'll kind of move on after that. All right. So we've kind of hit the high points of these two important disorders. Hope you got a good handle on it. And I'll see you then in module number three. And we're going to start talking about bipolar disorder and major depressive disorder. Have a good one.